transforming the narrative. Contributions at home, at work, in the arts and in policymaking is the theme for the World Autism Awareness Day 2023. But other young hands are drawing up their sub-teams to further push this narrative. For instance, Kanye, a child artist which we have followed closely on this program, believes no child should be left behind and that's the theme for his solo show in Abuja. Then in Lagos, embracing art through the lens of the differently abled is showcased at Terraculture. We'll have that and more when Art House returns in a moment. A warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. How the city attracts all types and how the unwary must suffer from ignorance of its ways. The works of art you're about to see were created by children in a group exhibition with the theme Embracing Art Through the Lens of the Differently Abled at the Terraculture Gallery in Lagos. The World Autism Day has come and gone, but not without some interesting advocacy programs happening. And Nigeria is not left out of the call to raise awareness about this hoping that the conservation continues beyond that special day, April the 2nd. One of such is this exhibition in Lagos titled Embracing Art Through the Lens of the Differently Abled, which is a show by children with autism and other developmental disorders. when I was a little boy, I loved drawing, so I started by one by steps, by taking classes, lessons and at school. So I met this my teacher, uh, Mr. Francis King, he's one of my teachers at my school, break time. Uh, and he started uh, teaching me uh, acrylic, uh, poster color, well, watercolor and pencil color. The title I draw on this uh, paintings, it's called the Music Gate, Blue Day, uh, Sea View, Dawn, Sunset, uh, Eye of Beauty, and three, 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 three maps. They make me who I am. You know, they make me inspired of the world and my and my life. While how I can go through some struggle, difficulties and passion. I am 17 years old. I, I, I thought living with autism. I attend Mana Sesa Sata. I like to draw him, paint I like to paint it by passion. works of art adorn different spaces at the Terra Culture in Lagos with the full support of parents and caregivers who are reiterating this message. Today is a very great day for us, uh, for me particularly, for what art has actually done for Christine. Uh, art has unlocked her self-awareness, confidence and composure and even unlocked her social skills. And if you know autism, autism affects communication, social skill and coordination, right? But with art, art has unlocked all that for Christine. Christine is a child that started painting February 6, 2021, in the dead of COVID. That was the first time she held a paintbrush and a canvas. And since then, they usually say the rest is history. 
from 2021, Christine has gone to hold five separate exhibitions and she has excelled in each and every one of them. She has competed with neurodiverse kids and neurotypical kids. So what we are seeing here is what art can actually do. You know, art as a therapy, art, art is actually healing. And, and seeing Christine talk, converse, Christine now can actually use a phone and Christine now can actually use WhatsApp. <laughs> I, I would say for a parent and uh, a mom and a dad, with a, a special needs child, what he likes doing. His passion is what will unlock him eventually, definitely. And that's Christine's story. So today, one word, color, art, art heals, art is life. Basically, what we want them to know is that children that have autism have an innate power within them and they have so much of an expression even though they cannot speak it in words that they can express through the use of their hands and their talents which is arts so when you have them you don't look at them with challenge they have abilities and that is what we are exhibiting today in all of our children amazing. My youngest sister owns the school so and um, when she said she was having, they were having this exhibition I just thought it well it was just an exhibition but coming here today it is amazing. I'm so impressed and the children are blessed. It just goes to show that every child God has deposited something in them and you don't throw them away. They have good things that they can give and I'm so proud of them. I'm so so proud. I'm excited for where they're going to reach in the future. that no child is unteachable, that all you need is the love, the patience, you know, doing something repeatedly. That I, I, let me say in simple words, perseverance is all in action in all my son's work and every other special needs child that is displaying their works here today. The message I want to send across during this exhibition is that no child is unteachable. Be it autism, be it attention defect and hyperactivity, be it any form of disability. With love and support, every child can learn. The artists talk about their inspiration and motivation in creating these works of art. Just imaginative uh, work. She just gets, we just give her her pen with various colors. She, she sits down and starts bringing out different designs. Every child is a masterpiece from God. They have talents. And all we need is to be patient to really discover those areas that these children are interested in. Then develop that. It can become a vocation for them. So we do, let us not feel that these children don't have anything inside them. No. That they cannot talk or express and they have other ways of expressing themselves. And part of it is through this art. She can only say one or two words when prompted. Okay? And so, but that does not stop her from doing whatever. She can do other things in the house. Though we teach them other, are other areas where they have deficiency. So she can, they, she can do, she, she helps me. She can wash, she can do a lot of things. But because they, she was taught. Nami is somebody who takes whatever learning. So she's somebody who learns fast. So everything she's exhibiting today are results of things she has been taught over time. So she has an art teacher here. So she has a variety of things she's exhibiting. She has flowers that she's drawn, like the one that's just right behind me. She has um, pic pictures of ladies that she also drew, you know, so she has a, she has a whole spectrum of 
different things that she's exhibiting today. She has 10 drawings that she's exhibiting today. So a lot of the children that are differently abled have been written off. Where people say they can't do anything, you know. In fact, some people call them misfits into society. But what we're showing today is that with a lot of training, with a lot of love, these children can actually do a lot. Embracing arts through the lens of the differently abled is the title of the art exhibition today. And the reason why is we're celebrating World Autism Day, which is today, April 2nd, 2023. And the theme for World Autism Day is uh, transformation towards a world, a neuro-inclusive world. So it is not enough to just accept these individuals. We must understand, support, accept, you know, include and empower them, hence this program. So um, visual art is one way in which children or individuals with autism are empowered and we need to give them a voice okay to exhibit their talents and potentials because they really excel in this field that has been underutilized all these years what we do basically is uh, we assess because every child is different and every child is, is unique in their own way so what we do with every child we have at our center is to assess them assessment gives us an idea of what that child possesses what the need is with that child. So you can see there's so much, so much about with the children on the spectrum. A lot of them are hyper, they have attention, they have attention deficits. A lot of them are non-verbal. Some of them are also, can, can't even communicate efficiently the way they should. Let's not seclude, let's not, not just keep them away. They have so much ability. Let's encourage them, let's help them to be able to, to showcase their talents, to showcase their, their, their gifts so that they also can have, you know, can also participate in whatever it is happening in the society. They can also have a skill to, to keep them independent in the society so that they can have their own life skills that they can have. By keeping them at home, if we had kept these ones at home, they wouldn't be here today. So we encourage every parent that have children that are afraid, let's pick up, let's come out, let's get help, let's get intervention, let's get diagnosis for these children so that they can be assisted, so that they can be helped. They can be taught to bring out their abilities. They can be taught to bring out their skills that God has given them. This is one of the many shows that took place to really display the potential of these children so the world can cheer them on and support their unique skills as they are indeed differently but creatively able. Worst myth for this week is titled, Stay With Me. Stay just one more day with me. Don't fly away, sail the sea. Stay and soothe my trembling heart. Stay that we may never part. Do not wander far away. Stay with me just one more day. Lay your head upon my arm, stay with me and keep me warm. Stay until the sun doth set, stay so close that I won't fret. You and I will watch the moon, do not leave me yet so soon. Stay my love, please stay a while, stay with me that I may smile. Please don't go and leave me here, sad without you, stay my dear. Don't you just love the works created by those young creatives? And they are not the only ones churning out wonderful images. We have another young talent. We'll be showcasing that when Art House returns in a moment. Do stay with us. These are the works we sent in this week. Let's begin with this one by Desmond Inibidi. It's called Together We Can, is rendered with oil on canvas. Then Frank has this portrait painting 
which is untitled, and he's done it with acrylic and ink on paper. Adekunle Mayowa has dreadlocks and acrylic on canvas piece. Then an abandoned tricycle in my environment is a pencil color on compressed card piece done by Victor Oyedele. This pen on paper piece is done by Damien Winner. It's called Provider. Then this wall colored pen on Strathmore paper is done by Harry Adams called Love. Dearly Bought is a mixed media on stretch canvas piece done by Hugo. And Toby has the digital painting called Focus. We wrap things up with this work done by Eitayo Alagwe. It's on mixed media and it's titled Forgiveness, the first in the series. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. Thank you so much for sending them in and we encourage you to keep them coming. No Child Left Behind is a theme for a solo exhibition by a young creative whom we have followed keenly on the program. It took place in the nation's capital, Abuja. No Child Left Behind. That's the theme for Kaya Chukutakbo Keke's exhibition in Abuja. This young artist who has become popular for his brush strokes has been using art as a medium of expression from a tender age. Just to show that with autism, there is still hope as communicating the message is essential. Us, when we came up with the theme, we were focusing on um, children living with disabilities, having them have you know having them to be able to um, um, acquire um, acquire the necessary um, therapy that they need. That's number one, and then to do it also um, through inclusive learning, so not separating the 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 children who have special needs from the normal kids, but to have them all learning, you know, simultaneously. Um, inclusive learning will also encourage um, inclusive participation in other um, social skills and um, um, activities that children normally take part in. So the whole is packed with dignitaries not just from within the art circles, but those at the top echelon of government or international community have all gathered to lend their voice to the cause. The 
that people who, you know, um, have these special needs also contribute enormously to, to society. A lot of them are geniuses, actually, you know, and uh, we know that a lot of geniuses uh, in the past who have achieved great things uh, in this world um, have also, you know, um, had special needs and things like that. So, so as you say, you know, it's really a question of um, education and getting the message out to the rural areas. You know, one of the speakers was talking about, you know, the fact that, you know, these things are not a wanje or any of these kinds of things. And, um, and we have to work and keep working and working. You know, um, 90 years ago, twins were being killed uh, in Nigeria, you know. So, you know, it's a work in progress. But, um, but we're really, really proud of, of Kanye and um, what, he's, uh, what he's achieving. And this is a message that we need to communicate to, to the world at large. Let me just add, going back to, my, to Kanye's personal uh, connections with Canada, um, in 2022, uh, Kanye held his art exhibition at the Art Vancouver an international art fair held annually at the Vancouver Convention Center. It's one of the biggest art shows in Canada. And Kanye made history by being the youngest at the exhi exhibition and one of the few from Africa to have showcased his works there. So big round of applause for Kanye. <laughs>
something to look forward to on the next episode as we anticipate seeing you again. What's never goodbye is a continuous conversation on the program. That's why you can find me on us many platforms which we have for you on our screen i'm melinda akinami stay safe and keep being creative <laughs>